Hello, welcome to our exploration of searching algorithms. In this video, we will see the basic searching algorithms, linear and binary search. Without further ado, let's dive into it. The first algorithm we're going to see is linear search. Linear search is the simplest searching algorithm. It works by checking each element in the list one by one until the target value has been found. Here we have an array of numbers that we'd like to search through. We're looking for the number 18. We'll check each element one by one from left to right. We continue doing this until we find our target value. Let's look at it in even more detail with some C++ code. Like before, we have an array to search through. On the bottom we have our C++ code and our target is 18. We have a boolean variable found that we'll use to track if you find the target. Initially, it is set to false. Our for loop iterates through each element in the array and the internal if statement checks if the element is equal to our target. If not, the for loop goes to the next element. And if the element is equal to the target, it means we have found our target. The index of the element is printed, and our boolean found is set to be true. And the for loop stops iterating and stops searching. It took us 5 iterations to find our target, but in the worst case of linear search, we may need to search the entire array if our target is at the end of the array. As our array only contains 7 elements, linear search is fine. However, for arrays that contain thousands or even millions of numbers, then linear search can be incredibly slow, hence why we need other algorithms like binary search. Binary search is an efficient algorithm for finding a target value in a sorted array. It works by repeatedly dividing the search space in half, making it much faster than checking each element one by one. Here we have a sorted array of numbers. Binary search only works on sorted data, as this allows us to make decisions about which half of the array to search. Our goal is to find the number 18 in this array. We will use two pointers, left and right, to keep track of our search range. Initially, left points to the start of the array and right points to the end of the array. To divide the array in half, we need to find the middle element. We calculate the middle element's index by taking the average of the left and right indexes. After that, we compare the mid element with the target element. If it is less than the target element, we ignore the left half and update the left pointer to mid plus 1. If the mid element is greater than the target, we ignore the right half and update the right pointer to mid minus 1. If the target is equal to mid, we stop searching because we have found our target. Like before, we have our array in C++ code. Left equals 0 at the start of the array, right equals length minus 1 which is the end of the array. Our mid is initially set to 0, the target we're looking for is 18, and our tracking boolean found is set to false. As we enter our loop, we'll calculate the mid of our array. In this case, it is the left plus right divided by 2. After finding the mid, we compare the value of our mid with our target. In our case, our mid value is less than our target. Therefore, we have to update our left pointer to be mid plus 1, ignoring the left half of our array. In the next iteration, we recalculate our mid with the newfound value of left. Now we compare the value at your new mid with our target value. In this case, the value at our mid is greater than our target. So we update the right pointer to mid minus 1. In the next iteration, we again recalculate our mid by taking the average of the left and right indexes. We again compare the value at your new mid with the target. In this case, they are both equal. Therefore, we can print our found target text and the index in which the target is found. Comparing linear search and binary search, in the worst case, linear search has a complexity of O of n, while binary search has a complexity of O of log of n. This means that in the worst case, it takes n comparisons for linear search to find a target, while it takes only log n to the base 2 for binary search. You can see in these examples the difference in efficiency between the two algorithms. For an array of size a million, linear search could take a million comparisons in the worst case, while binary search could only take 19 comparisons. And that's it for searching algorithms. I'm Emmanuel Abraha from Ethiopia, and see you real soon.